Hi, this is Kanu Babu. In the last class, we discussed about how to design the uh, update stop screen. In this video, we will continue the coding for that. So, here I have the update stock. As we discussed that uh, program number one, first of all, we have to auto generate the stock ID. For that, I already written the code to make the things faster. So here I written one method called auto generate stock ID and I am creating an object for auto generate class and here I am calling the method. You just uh, check, I will execute this one, you will understand. So here I will try to log in with my username as admin and admin. Now here you can check, I will click on update stock. Then automatically update stock underscore load event will fail. So I am creating an object for auto generate class calling auto generate id method at the time of calling the method we are passing the table name as stock transaction and uh, here the select count of starts from stock transaction In database i already created one table with the name stock transaction with column stock id item number quantity amount as well as date so admin will daily come to the food court and he will try to update the stock and here i am displaying what term the stock id right within my food court here you see the stock id is automatically generated and program number two is i want to bind the item types in combo box one for that i already written one method because in the project several times we will use the same code in our project, we will bind the item types in uh, more than 5 to 6 times. So that is the reason what I am doing. I have written that item bind item types method in a separate uh, auto generate class. And uh, the written type of the method is data set. So here I am creating the connection bind item types. Here you can see. And uh, here I am creating the connection to the database. And I am writing the query. Select start from item master. So in this moment what will happen it will display the item uh, item type number as well as i type i type number i type from the item master table and i am storing the result in the data set right and i will try to return the data set so an update stock.cs i have written one more method here something like add item types and i am creating an object for auto generate class and call this bind item types method the return type of this method is data set and we already discussed that combo box control will have two properties one is display member other one is value member display member property is used to display the column data so actually if you observe clearly after inserting actually I want to display the item type and I want to store the item type number so the display member is i type and the value member is i type number right so here you can check add item types i'll just keep the breakpoint and check how it is working right debug once let us see here admin and admin click on sign in here i'll click on update stock so here we are calling this add item types method within the load event and creating an object for auto generate class calling the bind item types method and here you can see uh, this query is executing and the result of the query is stored in data set so in data set uh, one table is created with the name item master with two columns item type number and the other one is i type the display member is i type because i want to display the names and i want to store the values right so here you say bind item types and press f5 so automatically here you can see the item types are displayed and whenever user clicks on burger right then automatically combo box on underscore selected index changed event has been fed and uh, here i have written some code so frequently as i told that in my project i will use several times these two methods bind item types and bind item names so instead of writing them there i am writing in a separate class 
in bind item names i want to bind what is my requirement here whenever user selects pizza i want to display all the item names belongs to pizza in combo uh, cb item type and name that is combo box 2 whenever user selects burger i want to display all the uh, item names belongs to burger in combo box 2 so what i have written the query here if you observe clearly the query is select a star from items where item type number is equals to i type number so i written one method called bind item names and uh, for this method the input parameter i'm passing as what i type number right so as we already displayed the i uh, here in combo box one the display member is what i type and the value member is what i type number so what i want to insert here at the time of calling this method, I will pass the item type number. You will understand once I will try to execute. So I will keep the... Um, here you can see update stock is there. Here you can check it out. I got veg burger. For example, here I will select pizza. Now combo box one underscore select index change it is fine. Now creating an object for auto generate class. Now I am calling the bind item names method. At the time of calling this method, this method is accepting the input parameter as what? Value. Which value? Combo box one dot selected value. Because I can directly write the query select i name from items where i type number is equals to the id of pizza. Right. So at the time of calling this method, I am passing the item type number is id underscore 1. So here you can check the query. Here you can see. Select star from items where item i type number is equal to id underscore 1. I hope you understood. Right? Because here in your table, if you observe, we are having a table called items table. Right? So whenever I am selecting pizza, I want to get a the items of pizza item names of pizza but in this table you cannot find i type you can get the data based on what i type number that is the reason i am using the property called value member right so f11 f11 and here the result of the query you can see as a selected pizza here i will get all the details of veg pizza uh, pizza veg pizza and chicken pizza but i don't want to display all the items i want to display item name is it clear? So the display member I will give as item name and the value member I will give as i number. Is it clear? Here you can see. In the previous video I clearly explained about display member and value member. You can check that one. Is it clear? So here you see. Edge visa and chicken visa. You may ask me one doubt. Sir, why you are storing value member like i number? Because actually when I click on update stock, I want to insert the stock details in stock transaction table. Whereas in stock transaction table, you have to store what? Item number. Is it clear? And my next requirement is, whenever user selects uh, uh, veg pizza, then automatically I want to display the quantity. Sorry. Here now the... Uh, um, Edwin, Edwin is updating the stock. So today he bought some stock and he want to update the stock. Whenever the admin is updating the stock, automatically it has to do two things. Step number one is, it has to update the stock in items table. Because if you observe clearly, initially in items table we simply what inserted the default value as zero. But now, what is the items table here? What items that admin wants to buy? Is it clear? Uh, what items that the admin wants to sell in his food court? Initially, he had the items. At that moment, if you want, I will show the screen also. Here you can check. Add items. At the time of adding the items, here admin will add item number, item type, item name and price. That's it. And admin is fixing the price and what items he want to sell in his food court but he has didn't brought any stock to the food court so later at the time of updating the stock 
we need to update the stock in items table that in items table I want to update the stock in which column quantity column I hope you understood right so here I will write the code for that so here where to write the code so here I will try to write the code in uh, uh, this uh, um, here you see whenever I enter the quantity and uh, press leave button uh, then automatically I want to display the price so requirement one is to auto generate the stock ID requirement number two bind all the item types in combo box one requirement number three when user selects the uh, um, item types display the related item names in combo three requirement number four when I enter the quantity and uh, then I want to display uh, the amount the total amount of that particular item in the text box is it clear so let us see here so right click on quantity text box properties events there you can see an event called leave event double click on leave event and write the code see my requirement here whenever you um, admin leaves the quantity text box then automatically I want to get the price of that particular item and then I want to calculate the total amount how to calculate quantity into price will give you the total amount right so here I am trying to create the connection so that is the reason I pass the query select price from items where I name is equals to combo box one dot selected item combo box one dot two or two CB item name dot selected item means where item name is equals to edge pizza and we already know that by default uh, execute scalar will return the written type of execute scalar is object but I want to store that one in where double so convert dot two double convert dot two double of cmd dot execute scalar now I have price with me now I will declare one more variable to store what quantity int quantity is equals to int dot parse of txt quantity dot text now I'll calculate the total amount double amount is equals to double amount is equals to quantity into price and I want to display that one in amount text box txt amount dot text is equals to amount dot to string that I hope you understood so debug so here I will try to debug and check the output here so here I will log in with admin the password is admin and click on sign in and here I want to update the stock right when I select the uh, pizza then automatically the items related to pizza came now admin is adding 20 veg pizzas when you leave the uh, text box then automatically leave event will fail and here you check the query here I have done some small modification you just uh, verify that one instead of combo box one dot selected item I am simply writing combo box uh, one dot text because combo box is a combination of text box and what drop down list so execute scalar so what is the price of edge pizza 60 rupees what is the quantity 20 rupees what is the total amount 16 to 20 rupees that will come around 1200 rupees and press f5 is it clear similarly when user selects uh, any other item like chicken pizza and uh, I want to automatically clear what the uh, values in the text box after this after uh, leave event and um, after uh, uh, after performing the updating stock op operation I hope you understood right so in the next video we'll discuss about how to update the stock and whenever user uh, clicks on update stock button two operations you have to perform the program number one is we have to update the quantity in where um, in items table and in uh, apart from that we have to insert the records in where stock transaction table for more updates you can subscribe to the youtube channel along with my facebook group thank you have a nice day